You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? It's <laughs> Little Babies. Yeah, we're back. I'm Eric. What's your last name? I don't know. I I almost <laughs> didn't do a first name even. I, I mean, I do know, but yeah, you really I almost didn't. That. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say your name, and then I was like, he's not saying his name. No, I was gonna let you do it. And first. then and, <laughs> you, and then you fucking bitched out at it. This is what I get for I'm, trying not to talk over you for a week. <laughs> I'm Eric. <laughs> I'm Eric Friedman. I'm Willie. No, no, no. What if I did that? Right? Be funny. I'm Willie Simon, <laughs> and we're dick. and it's two dumb babies. It's the best podcast. In the in the world, <laughs> you were gonna give it a, <laughs> yeah. a smaller yeah, yeah. a smaller part. I was saying the best podcast recorded here today. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I don't know who's here. There's been a lot of people here. So a, you, it's a good studio. So you you bailed on <laughs> on best podcast in in the studio today, and then went, and I for, went the for the world. world. Yeah, yeah. Because like you know, <laughs> at that point, yeah, might as well fucking scale. I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna go even smaller, dude. No way. I mean, yeah. Then <laughs> the best. We're doing right now. Yeah. We're trying our hardest. This is the <laughs> second most fun thing I've done today. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we can't even make. I mean, I guess even, we made your top three top, list. Yeah, it's not even top thing for the host to do. <laughs> this isn't good at all. I was having more fun before I was here. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. And now we're here now. <laughs> all right. Dude. What were you doing this morning that was so fun? I played a, I played golf in the fog, dude. It was so it was nice. It was like yeah, it's like I'm on Pebble Beach, dude. But it was in Studio City, the, the next to a bunch of homeless people. But it was like foggy, so it's like that sounds. It's like Pebble Beach. It doesn't sound like Pebble Beach at all. I mean, yeah, it's foggy. Was it fog so you couldn't see them and they just it pop might have up been, out of nowhere? It might have been smog and like stink lines from the homeless people. But <laughs> were were any <laughs> the homeless people sleeping in like the sand traps and stuff? How, no, how homeless outside. of course was this? They were like outside the fence. Oh, there's a fence. Well, that's yeah, good. yeah, it's good. It's yeah. like Pebble Beach. <laughs> you keep saying that like I'm like, outside oh, yeah, the Pebble fence. Beach, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what part of it's like Pebble Beach? Oh, you understand? Yeah, yeah. No, it was fun. I saw Mike Maslati. I haven't seen that guy in a long time. Nice. He's uh, yeah. He's still Italian, so you know that's good. It's yeah. good that it didn't. Is it leave him? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's he's good. still super Italian. Great guy. I never shouts out. I never thought of him as super Italian, but you know him a lot better. He than just he just got back from Italy. With his family. I guess that's pretty Italian. It's pretty Italian visiting Italy. Huh? Yeah. Motherland. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if that's why you're doing it, then it's Italian. Yeah. If, if you're visiting like, it to like drink, then you're just like, yeah, you're just like yeah, a is it a, guy going. A pilgrimage home or is it like we're trekking through Europe? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Are you going like skiing or are you like trying to reconnect with family? Yeah. Italy seems like a common place where people do go back to older in life and they're like, this was my dad's family's the home or whatever yeah i don't and everyone in the village is like we've place. fucking lost you years ago we don't care at all yeah. you ever talk to like an irish person who fucking hears americans say they're irish they're just like get the fuck out of my face <laughs> you sound ridiculous <laughs> we've said this before once you're here you're here yeah, you know? you're american that's, that's yeah. what you should be yeah. like if you americans move to another only country people. oh sorry like, oh sorry, if you move again. to another country yeah that should just be your country <laughs> <laughs> what would you move for then yeah exactly yeah we're the only ones who don't see ourselves as american Everyone else is like, if I go to Dublin and I'm like, hey, what's up, brothers? <laughs> They're like, get the fuck out of here. Like, no, you got to go through our struggles to be part of this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, no, no, no. I went through it and we bailed. <laughs> bailed Remember hard. Remember when you were struggling? Our family, like, we left. Hey, does it still kind of suck here? Is that, that's <laughs> yeah, why yeah. we left. That's... Yeah, does this place still blow fucking ass? <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten worse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> real glad we moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's always uh that's why it's fun to go to like like if i go to like japan you know i'm just doing the tourist stuff i'm not going it's like i'm going to my mother's village yeah like no one's gonna be annoyed with me there they know exactly why i'm there <laughs> you know what i mean it's just to like get drunk eat their food yeah yeah drink highballs at like outside oh, i yeah, think that's a so thing fun. it is a thing it's yeah. so fun <laughs> i've never fucking uh 
Also, highball is just whiskey soda. It's a, <laughs> yeah, but it sounds much cooler when you say highball. <laughs> I drank I drank them for like three days straight and then found You're out like, what they were. You're like, these like dog shit. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's whiskey and soda. You're like, fuck. You're like, that's what I've been drinking the whole time. I thought it was some special thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is such a cool name? Yeah. It's like Japanese whiskey, though, so it's like better. Isn't that yeah. funny that the Japanese got hold of whiskey and it's like 10 times better? They had like yeah, one generation with it and they fucking fucked up the Scottish forever. <laughs> Been working on it for like a thousand years. <laughs> they do everything better. You're just talking about Italy. Best pizza I ever had? Japan. Really? Yeah. No way, Hands down. dude. <laughs> what, was, what was on it? Um, they, like, they, they made a few different ones, but it was a spot where you have to like make a reservation and they only are open for like a couple hours. They make like 30 pizzas a night and that's it. Dude. And they're like, yeah. Honestly, I follow this guy on Instagram, and he's this Japanese chef living in Mexico City, and he does this, like, Japanese-Mexican fusion recipes, mm -hmm. and he just, like, he's, like, this Michelin star chef, so he's, like, experimenting with all these things, and it looks like the best fucking, he's just doing, like, like tuna elote, and, like, oh, wow. he's just, like, combine. he's just, like, yeah. making up two foods, he's, like, like, not even, like, sushi burrito, but, like, mm -hmm. way better, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not, not as basic as sushi burrito, but, like, <laughs> like I don't know, like. It's the fancier side. Yeah, like, uh, like. Yuzu mole. Yeah. I don't know. Think of like two more advanced versions of <laughs> sushi burrito. Just go sushi one nachos. step further. But like maybe like Bro Hamachi nachos. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's using Sushi's some Japanese too broad. words. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he's done it all, dude. It's great. It's like he it's almost like he's just playing like connect words and like oh, he's got a board or something. <laughs> yeah. I feel like chefs chefs are really the I don't know, maybe there's other people that do it, but really take things from multiple cultures and just shove it together. Like, yeah. I don't feel like we have like doctors who do that or a, a lawyer who's like, I'm going to use what I learned down in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I combine two cultures, <laughs> it's doing blackface. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. See, chefs had it so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Chefs are allowed to, and it's not uh yeah. They're like, Cultural you can't do that accent anymore, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> no, I'm do it's white Chinese fusion yeah, yeah. comedy. It's, it's a cultural appropriation. It's a burst of flavor on my face or yeah, something. Yeah. I don't it's a flavor combo that's never been heard of. <laughs> You're just doing a Chinese accent. <laughs> yes, yeah, but as yeah. a white person. Yeah. That's it's what what don't you get? <laughs> I'm doing an Italian Chinese fusion. If, if I were a chef, this would be Michelin star. <laughs> this is You'd bullshit. be praising me for combining yeah. these flavors. Gordon Ramsay would be shaking my hand <laughs> in thanks. <laughs> if I were a chef doing this, <laughs> I guess yeah, it's the only art you can really do that. I guess with. music, music can get away with it. Yeah, but like then there's like sometimes it's bad too. Yeah, like new metal and. It's not always good. Like rap rock and really worked really well. <laughs> it worked. We just don't like it. <laughs> I don't think it worked. It had it had six it had some successful years. It made some yeah. pretty big artists. Yeah, so would like so would like, I don't know, weird like Mongol Mongolian British food. I bet it's delicious to some guy, but I mean I, not to it's me. It's gonna be better than British food. You gotta put something else on on top of it. Like Mongolian food is all like fermented milk. Is that what it is? It's pretty, pretty weird. It's pretty not great. This is pretty strange. Everything I've seen from it. Because it comes from like this, because they used to like, just like, you know, ride around horses and fucking, you know, they're like nomads. They need stuff that carried well. Because yeah, they had to go so rape in Poland. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's way over there. So you got to bring. I need some food for the ride. Yeah. I'm so hungry. If from, I show up, well. From raping I'm, in Warsaw. <laughs> I'm on an empty stomach. I'm not going to do a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Overpower me or something. <laughs> but yeah yeah i'm sure someone would like fermented bangers and mash but not me that's like what corn is to me corn is like, <laughs> like fermented. the band oh <laughs> i was still on food yeah that's probably yeah, the one band the i band. could have made that confusing with yeah <laughs> <laughs> should go for limp biscuit or something yeah, yeah, i, I really. guess also kind that's of sounds kind british of food, food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all the new metal bands sound like shitty british food see it is the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln Park, oh, that's where you go eat you want some Limp Biscuit the... with your corn? <laughs> you just take yourself down to the Lincoln Park. You, you want yourself... your corn Lincoln Park biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's some other ones, but there's I don't think gotta I can be more. name. I, know. I don't know if I can name some more rap rock <laughs> bands. I have no idea. <laughs> I've heard out of three. Exactly. We had the same Evanescence? thought. Evanescence? <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> 
Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yes, yeah. I think there were some Sublime songs they rapped on. <laughs> I don't think that counts. <laughs> no. Yeah, there weren't like, I don't know what, a, or like Rage Against the Machine. I don't know. Yeah, sort of. But they weren't like don't new throw metal them in there. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that hurts to hear. I mean, why would you do that? But it's yeah. real. But I'm right. <laughs> it hurts to hear. But I'm right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, only sort of. Not the first two albums. They were like the first. You know, it's like the it's like the the successful like parents, oh, yeah, like the CEO parent and all those fuck up kids. <laughs> That's what Rage Against the Machine and new metal is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like you ever seen Succession? Yeah, that's what that's Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're trying, to, trying to be as good as them, but they're not. And they who suck. do we pass this music on to? <laughs> yeah, and then someone uh, else, <laughs> someone outside the family. Yeah, what if we just else. what if we pass it on to Run the Jewels? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it looks like it's gonna be Odd Future. Get the fuck out <laughs> <Yeah>. of here. <laughs> we need someone who doesn't really want it. <laughs> Speaking of music, uh. You you found that thing they're blasting uh, metal for orcas to stop them from? Oh yeah, dude! I saw the boats. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're because orcas keep attacking Gibraltar, like the Gibraltar Strait. Yeah, not the, the not the Strait. Just Gibraltar not like in general. Yeah, it's not like World War One. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different than World War One. They're still getting How attacked, much but different? like yeah, only a little bit. The <laughs> okay, boats are good. still getting attacked <laughs> by the. By the uh, by, the orcas. We should pull it up. That's okay. It's on. Cool. I should have told. Should have told Mark before that. Oh, you're good. I'll pull That's it on up. Me. While That's you... on me, guys. But it was the. Uh... But yeah, they're playing like metal, trying to fucking fight off orcas, instead of because uh... they don't know what else to do because the orcas are attacking all their boats. What What do you think made them try metal? You think they tried other music first? I don't know. Like, I'd go metal try first. Celine Dion. I bet a lot of it would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> and metal is just the first thing they could think of. You know? Yeah. It probably just needs to be... Well, it's going through yeah, water. What are, what are whales Should like? Be... <laughs> Adele? <laughs> Come on. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Lizzo? Whales, Not anymore. Whales love Lizzo. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. I was like, damn. All the, all the all the fat queens are going yeah, away. Yeah, shaming them. <laughs> yeah. really, we really are running out of fat queens. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. Orcas are gone, too. <laughs> orcas are they're, gonna, They've turned on they're us. They're going to keep it alive. It's too bad, dude. It is pretty crazy that orcas are figuring out that, like, people are on these boats. We got to like, we got to fuck these boats up. Yeah. But they're, they're actually bored. like turning on us. I mean, no, there's no way. Do they got to know what's going on? Why would yeah. they be bored? They're so bored. Know. They're like, let's go fuck up this. There's only so much to do in the sea. <laughs> Imagine it gets <laughs> bored of it. It's boring eventually, generations later. Yeah. Same reason we left the forests and stuff and then demolished them. Yeah, but we were never like, like let's boring. go, let's go fuck up this. Is that why we demolished everything? Is yeah, it boring? Think so. It's bored. No way. I think dude. that's I think that's why anyone's done anything and why anything's been created is that of boredom. <laughs> right? I don't think it's out of I don't know. Now I'm thinking. Maybe. I think we got extreme sports because it was a necessity or <laughs> Yeah, but that's not the same as like paper. <laughs> <laughs> paper wasn't a necessity either. We could yeah, I guess you're like, man, I got to get these thoughts down somehow or I'm going to go fucking crazy. Yeah, even learning about the past, that's kind of out of boredom. <laughs> I mean, you need to know certain things like don't eat this, these berries because they poison you. But beyond that, I mean, yeah, you just refigure it out again and then you'll never be bored. Yeah, I guess. But it's like, you know, if I, I wouldn't build the Great Wall of China then if it was out of boredom because it's like I don't want people attacking me. This is like, this is living, <laughs> being attacked all the time. I don't know. Building that's a wall like, seems so boring. <laughs> no, but that's like getting, that's getting us back to boredom. Yeah. That goes the, that's the exact opposite of what you're saying. That's right. You're getting to safety. They're like, no boredom. I'm <laughs> sick of this, ex or more boredom. I'm maybe, sick of this excitement. Maybe it's like a, it's like a every decades thing or a generational thing. It's like, first we're real bored. So we do something and then we're like, oh no, this thing we did is bad. <laughs> and now we have to fight yeah. against that. Yeah. <laughs> what are we on right now? Are we on the. Getting back to boredom. I think we're getting um, on the other side. I think yeah. we're going the other way. I think we're... <laughs> I think since 9-11, we've been tor flying towards the other way. <laughs> Definitely been flying Just very quickly in a direction. <laughs> the direction of, let's make this shit fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Let's just start over. Let's... Uh, what if we wipe the... <laughs> yeah, the old Xi Jinping and Biden. I mean, like, meeting and... Saying the world's big oh, yeah. enough 
The world's big enough for the both of us. <laughs> that was the worst That's way I've insane. heard someone introduce a fucking, an article in my fucking life. <laughs> How is that not kind of what we were talking about? I don't know. We talked about it earlier it just, already. It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> it was like, and then Biden and then Xi Jinping. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh. Look, I'm practicing my political speeches. <laughs> I'd like them to be confusing and go nowhere. <laughs> that was the thing we said wasn't funny and they aren't in the car. <laughs> I know. I agree. It wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's us hurtling towards the destruction of the planet, but I guess I it's where we're at. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I like that the orcas are joining in, you know? Yeah. It's They're, good nature's finally fighting back, you know? Yeah. Those, that fucking nature, that coward has been sitting on its ass for fucking a <laughs> hundred years while we've been fucking decimating it. <laughs> where have you been, nature? <laughs> like, you're, gonna let us, you're gonna let us do this? Yeah. They're like, hey, there's less ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The orcas are finally like, no one's going to fucking do something about this. No one's going to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to let them. Fucking... All the, the sea shepherds and whoever went to try and stop the whalers or whatnot. Yeah. Weren't successful and didn't do anything. And the whales were like, I guess we do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a one day the orcas are going to kill the sea shepherds. And you're like, you just killed your only friend. <laughs> They're like they did nothing. Now they, you've were, done it. they were in it for the celebrity status. <laughs> yeah, the TV were, show. They were phonies. <laughs> they weren't down to actually spill blood. No one wants to just do anything. It's like, uh, see, Mr. Beast went and installed a bunch of wells in Africa. And then like a bunch of people got mad. Cause he just, it was a white dude who did it so quickly <laughs> and gave them water and made them look bad. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, Someone's got to, someone should just do it. Who cares? Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing, too. It's like, <laughs> it's like maybe people just do things if you can. Yeah, it's not all about like optics. I think it's about just like helping people sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't like that. That's not very funny. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> helping the needy. That is nice of Mr. Beast. It's pretty nice. It's pretty funny how Mr. Beast is like, like William Carnegie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's great how he's still, <laughs> even with all of this stuff, is still just going by Mr. Beast instead yeah. of a name. He's I like still the, don't know his name. He's like the world's biggest like <laughs> philanthropist. <laughs> it's like, it's going to be like a Mr. Beast music hall <laughs> in like fucking Harvard in 50 years. <laughs> the the James H. Beast yeah. memorial <laughs> fucking play Mis Mr. Stage. Beast University. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's actually not just learning how to be a YouTuber. It's like a real school. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cancer's been cured at Mr. Beast. Here's Mr. Beast <laughs> University. We've cured cancer. UCLA the couldn't greatest. do it, so we had to move on to Mr. Beast. <laughs> the greatest doc. You know where we're going? We're going to send you. We're going to Mr. Beast Memorial Hospital, <laughs> and you're gonna and you're gonna be okay. I feel they safe. have the greatest feel, doctors yeah, yeah. on the planet. Wow, I have good health insurance. <laughs> Thanks to Mr. Beast's health insurance. <laughs> yeah, dude. The, that guy's fucking... He's gonna do it all. This is how everyone felt about Elon Musk, like, five years ago, too. We're gonna turn on Mr. Beast so fast. Yeah, but Elon Musk you know hasn't it. really done anything philanthropic. That's true. Right? He just kind of like... Well, he was like, we're going to the moon! We're going to Mars! I don't Everyone's even know. like, yeah. Is that philanthropy or that's just kind of? I don't know. <laughs> gets, don't, gets me all worked up. I don't think we got like anything. That. From, I don't think that's what philanthropy is. Because <laughs> y'all jacked up. I that's think you're thinking about new metal. <laughs> you're, you're going back to. Makes me fucking want to mosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you made a flamethrower. That's you know yeah. cool. Yeah, that's philanthrop philanthropic. <laughs> No, yeah, I guess he's not really. He did own a diamond mine. I think the opposite of philanthropy is owning a diamond mine. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, good start. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, maybe philanthropy's done. I still think, against Elon Musk. I still think not, we're gonna turn on Mr. Beast. Not though. by people are turning on him already. Really? For the, the wells and whatnot. Oh like, yeah, yeah. I, I guess. mean. But, like, I think, like, we'll see it, like, big time, you know? Yeah. Also, I saw that he released, like, a uh, like a, um, a map of a bunch of countries. I saw this on Twitter. It was, like a, like, a map of all these countries, and he, like, does, like, a challenge for every country. And then, like, it's funny to see, like, 
what countries Mr. Beast recognizes and doesn't <laughs> recognize. And all this like, <laughs> doesn't recognize his Czechoslovakia, but he doesn't recognize <laughs> like, like Palestine. <laughs> it's like, it's so funny. Dude. I gotta fucking, where I can find that? Does he do <laughs> it? It's like with, geopolit, like Mr. Beast say, geopolitics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very strategically not choosing some spots or, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like Taiwan isn't there. And you're like, that's probably on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> China will shut him down. <laughs> yeah, like they just did John Stewart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Chinese Chinese commie puppet Mr. Beast. <laughs> Deep state Chinese agent. It's like you have what you have a choice if you want to be big. You can be uh China's puppet or America's puppet, right? Yeah. I mean, which other you gotta be one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if not both now. Yeah, that's kind of nice. We'll get both. Both puppets, or both both side puppets, or something. Yeah, dude. Why don't you say pull down one of those fucking dual sided puppets? Down? Oh, I was. Uh, this is something I I realized the other day. I was talking to uh, Alicia about it, but I was like, I don't think I can make it through an entire day of life without hearing about Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be impossible at this point in time. Yeah, it is hard, especially peak football season now. Now it's yeah. just like a huge part of the NFL. That's what made it impossible. Like it, at first, it was her huge tour and all that stuff, and everyone talking the movie and everyone going to the shows and her redefining it. And then it has been a big year. And then that. And then I was like, oh, okay, she is just part of everyday life. Yeah, that's wild. What? <laughs> I can go. I can make it the day without hearing about the president. Yeah, that's I, true. I can't make it the entire day without hearing about her. She might be the biggest dense. Yeah, she's she's never been bigger now. Yeah. It's been a banner year for weird white ladies. <laughs> <laughs> they're really taking it back. Yeah, they? they're fucking killing shit, dude. They felt slighted by all the Karen stuff, and they're like, we yeah, gotta dude, get this back. They were down and out in 2021, <laughs> 2020, dude. I was like, white women are at an all-time low. They're- Two years they turned the organization around, dude. That's impressive. They're, yeah. Stocks. <laughs> they're at a high peak. up there. Yeah, exactly, they- dude. <laughs> they're fucking... All the... They- they got asses now. Yeah, they bit- Taylor Swift is huge. They bitcoined though. I mean, they're gonna. It's gonna drop again at some point. I don't know, dude. This feels like a climb back. <laughs> yeah. This, this dead air. We'll get. We'll cut this. We'll cut. Mark, we're cutting this part. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> oh, there was a, that was the other weird, back into animals. There was a, um, there was a cargo flight leaving New York that had to turn around after a horse broke free. There's a horse on the plane? On a plane, which that's exactly, <laughs> that was my first thought was not like, how to break free? I was like, why is there a horse on, on a, a cargo plane? plane though? It's not a cargo like a, plane. No, okay. it wasn't like a motion. It'd be funny, you like animal. open the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> and a horse fucking, <laughs> hey, there's a horse in here. <laughs> Just wedged into the, yeah, just like, wedged in here. Yeah, just no, <laughs> just don't open that door. Yeah. It said occupy. <laughs> <laughs> just it breaking free though, and then them having to like call air support, and they're like, "Hey, there's a wild animal <laughs> loose yeah, on the plane. Yeah. We're coming back. We've already seen this before." And they shoot the plane down. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let the horse get in the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> Not that horse New- works for Al Qaeda. Not in New York. We can't. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they turned around. They're like, "No, head out to the sea. Yeah. Head out into that's, the ocean." That's not a horse. That's a hum horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Hamas horse. <laughs> it's coming. It's going for the cockpit. Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an air marshal on the cargo flight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pilot's like, "Do what you have to do." <laughs> Send me home. <laughs> got a what? What also? What kind of horse are they? I mean, I guess any horse on an airplane is probably not that tame. But I'm like, are they sending a wild horse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's one of those Arabian or... horses. <laughs> Come on, because it's the terrorist horse. All right. <laughs> it was a. Uh... It was a Trojan horse. It was actually, it was Hamas hiding inside the horse. It wasn't even a real horse. Yeah, yeah. They were hiding inside. Yeah, it was they three jumped guys. Out. Yeah. Three guys in a horse suit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Also, why are you flying a horse? Where are you flying it? That's what I wonder. Where like, was it going? Was it like across the, I don't know. Across the sea? Yeah, I guess maybe. That's the only way it makes sense. Even then, send it on a boat. I don't know. So, if we can afford to. I guess. To horse, horse plane? <laughs> horses on a plane. It's like snakes on a plane. But just but a bunch horses. of horses. They're a little nicer. They're <laughs> I'm sick of bigger. these motherfucking horses <laughs> on this motherfucking plane. Someone jumps <laughs> jumps out on the horse with a parachute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That'd be so cool. That's fun. Was it only? Did they only have? It was like an all animal flight, or I don't think so. I think it's just a normal. I think they just do it on normal cargo flights with like other uh, packages and stuff, and then they'll like put some animals on it. Okay, and just throw a fucking yeah horse. It's like we gotta get this horse and, very quickly to somewhere. Yeah, they they fucking two day shipping this horse. Yeah, I've never <laughs> seen a horse in like a trailer behind a truck driving on the freeway and being like, "Why aren't you flying?" Yeah, <laughs> you idiot. Yeah, right. Hey, you know you can get Amazon to ship this in like thirty six <laughs> hours if you just pay an extra forty bucks. <laughs> Even dogs are hard to ship on planes. Horse. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, horse. That must have been. Can you imagine the guys loading that? <laughs> These two burnout <laughs> fucking drunks. <laughs> Can't just chuck this onto the plane. This sucks. So you okay with this package, dude? It bit me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine the horse goes easy onto the plane either. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The horse isn't like fucking fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah, this this looks fun. This is where I want to spend my day. <laughs> It's really like it's almost like, like the tech, the like the evolution of man in one pl- like vehicle, you know, because we spent so many years riding horses. Oh yeah. And now yeah. it's like inside of the plane, the horse gets to ride in vehicles now. Yeah, the yeah, horse is now cool. is on the plane. Look the how horse far we've come. Flight. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mark, we're cutting that part too. That's not good. <laughs> we're getting rid of that. <laughs> just that back. Just that last one. <laughs> Dude, I think this was I think this was great. This was good. This was a good one. And we got Voki coming next. He's, yeah. he's, he's outside. Filming that one in a minute. Um Is that him? Yeah. Hang on. We're keeping this part in. Shut up. Yeah. This is what we're <laughs> He'll keeping be in. here in a sec. Yeah, this is kind of like a it's like the end of a Marvel movie. Like on the next chapter, yeah, yeah, this, this will be yeah. next week. Uh, our guest, for yeah. <laughs> next I come week's in, I come in with an eye patch and I kick down Voki's door. <laughs> we we need you. The world is under attack. The world's under attack. All right, guys, thanks for listening. There's been two dumb babies. Check us out on the road. <laughs> All right, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>